New York conjures up too many stereotypes to count. You've got the hipster areas, preppy places, neighborhoods where college kids hang out, and of course, the ghettos. Seems as if there's a neighborhood for everyone in New York. So the question arises, which New York neighborhoods are the best and which are the worst? Today we'll use science and data to determine which New York neighborhoods need a little TLC. You know, the worst parts of New York. You can tell a lot about a neighborhood by how broke people are and by how bad crime is. We'll use those as our measuring sticks. So join us as we take a stroll through New York's worst neighborhoods. Our first stop on our tour of New York's neighborhood starts in Williams Bridge. The unemployment rate here is 9% and home prices are really, really low. Crime is so bad here that local business owners say it's hurting their way of life. Do you think Mr. Rogers would go into this neighborhood? The answer is no. No, he wouldn't. Our next stop on our crummy tour brings us to High Bridge, a hood with quite a few people who probably wish they didn't live here. Income levels are around $31,000 and homes average about 141,000. They certainly won't be throwing parades in High Bridge anytime soon, that's for sure. Continuing our journey of the worst New York neighborhoods, we come to Morris Heights. Here, most of the residents live at or below poverty, and you have about a one in 20 chance of being the victim of a crime each year. This neighborhood has so much potential too. Would a baby go into this neighborhood? That's a baby, don't listen to anything he says. Fordham is next on our list. It's too bad that the entire area around here sucks. This is one of the most dangerous hoods in New York, and homes are some of the cheapest in the area as a result. A ton of residents here are out of work, almost twice the national average. Folks here need to get a damn job. It's not that hard, people. University Heights is certainly no walk in the park when you consider this bad. This area is very dangerous and very poor. Families bring in very low income levels. But people in University Heights are the richest of any other area we're going to talk about, which puts into perspective how poor many of the neighborhoods in New York are. We'll be back after this quick message. Yo, this ad's brought to you by Clippers on Martin Luther King Boulevard. Come get your hair did. We do it tight and right. That's Clippers on MLK. G. Continuing our tour of the worst parts of New York, we come to Bedford Park. Want to play a joke on your friends? Tell them you're going to go to a party in Bedford Park and watch their reactions. There aren't too many people packed into this little hood where you might get blown away from wearing the wrong hat. The Winslow certainly wouldn't live in Bedford Park and you won't find the Bundys living here either. Here in the densely packed neighborhood of Woodlawn Nordwood, about one in five people refuses to work and just about everyone's broke. To get there, take your car to roughly the rundown house on the left and the boarded up building on the right. Been spending most of their lives living in the gangster's paradise. Welcome to Mott Haven, one of the most dangerous neighborhoods in New York. Entire families here make absurdly low annual incomes. Can we interest anyone in a $90,000 house in Mott Haven? Anyone? No? Okay then. Tremont is a notoriously horrible area too. In this neighborhood, a ton of the population lives in poverty and crime is off the charts. There are murders in and around this neighborhood every single year. Not good. Not fun. And where's the worst neighborhood in the city of New York? That would be Hunts Point. This true hood has a ton of people who live in the worst conditions in the city. It ranks in the bottom three for home values and income levels and the top three for crime. Some New York neighborhoods are hard to tell apart, but you can tell who's from this hood. They're the ones with the 40, a pistol, a beat up car, and a pit bull. If you don't live in Hunts Point or any of the other neighborhoods we talked about, you don't have it too badly. Congratulations. 